Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And today we are going to be, as it says in the title, trying out some joystick controls, flight controls. I'm actually set up with my X-52 flight controller. I normally use it only in X-Plane. We are going to be trying it in Kerbal Space Program. This is going to be the Flight Simulator Edition. As you can see, we are in, or we have the Leo Explorer here in front of us, and it does have a number of things added to it. For example, you can see that we have uh, barometric pressure sensors, temperature sensors or thermometers. We have cameras, uh, that weird boom thing that tipped over one of our rockets. Uh, we have the communicatron, which I think was always there. And then on the underside, we also have some of the goo containers, the mystery goo. So, oh, also on the front, we have Geiger counters, which make it look like really odd machine guns at the front. But there we go. So in this episode, we are going to be taking this out, going to see what it can do, how the flight controllers are set up. So I'll show you how I have set up my flight controller and we're just going to have a look and see if it actually pans out. We'll take it off, we'll fly around some areas, we might try and land it on grass and then bring it back to the airport and see if we can land it or bring it back to KSC and see if we can land it. So make sure you stay tuned for that. This could either go really well or as usual, as the way of Kerbin, uh, or Kerbal, end in disaster with lots of explosions. Okay, so annoyingly, my space plane hangar cannot, uh, cannot take anything more than uh, 30 parts and my vehicle now has 40 something so it looks like we are going to be having to look for some upgrades now unfortunately the upgrades do cost quite a lot of money uh, yeah they they do cost quite a lot of money and I'm a little bit I'm not all too keen on spending that amount of money uh, to go up to 255 parts for oh this is going to be interesting how much is a single what what is the cost of one of our vehicles they cost 26,000 each so if we do if we do this this is going to somehow we're going to have to make make back or make up a lot of money um how do I do that? I'll tell you what, well, let's just go for it. There you go, upgraded. We've lost a whole bunch of money, but we are going to try and launch the Leo Explorer. So here we go. This, that kind of looks nice, by the way. Um, we'll see the, we'll see the space plane hangar in a moment. Okay, so here we are. Uh, let's see if the controls work, and they do seem to. So, you can see that that is now me using my throttle. So how have I done this? Well, let me just show you. If I press Shift and L, it brings up my Advanced Fly-By-Wire mod, which is the one I'm using. It recognised my flight controller straight away. I just configured it, then I went into Presets, and I created my control. So you can see I've got some pitch trim, staging, lights, brakes, camera movement, your pitch roll, throttle, and everything seems to work. I could add anything I really wanted, but at this point in time, this is all we need. So all you've got to do is get the advanced fly-by-wire mod. I do highly recommend getting these things through a uh, CCAN. And then that's, that is it. So should we see how this flies? Uh, let's, there we go. Stage, or well, engines are on. Brakes released. I really do not need much throttle on this particular aircraft, it seems. We'll do this nice and slow. Let's see if we can lift off now. Rotate. Look at that. That is 
absolutely brilliant. I, I love the fact that that is possible and we can we can actually fly like this. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go over to... We've been there before. We went there in the last episode. Let's see if we can land this aircraft at the opposite base, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, the escape site. The only thing I wish it did is I wish the camera would follow. Um, is there a way to do that? See? No? Oh, that's a, that's a good view. That's a very good view. Camera free. No, chase. That is probably the kind of camera I want. This is so easy to fly. At this point in time, it is so easy to fly this aircraft. Just gentle, nice gentle movements. I can trim it as well. I say trim it, it isn't really trimming all too well. Sort of trim it, I guess. It's a, it's a partial trim, I guess, on it. So let's see. If we were to go ahead and grab something here, we do not get anything at this point in time because we have everything from around here. This is so much easier to fly an aircraft like this. This is what I'm going to be doing in Kerbal Space Program from, from here on in then. And if this is the way to fly, I'm going to fly like this. Uh, the only thing that I need to naturally figure out is landing speeds and things like that for this particular aircraft. I'm going to try around the 100 meters per second mark. I mean, that is still incredibly fast. I might try slower. Let's try... We'll try less than 100 meters per second, actually. We'll try and figure out something else that perhaps we can f do. We'll try maybe 80 meters per second or something like that, which is about 140 miles per hour. Or thereabouts. So we'll, we'll try something of the sort like that. As you can see, it is so easy to fly this aircraft at this point in time, and of course we still have our parachutes available to us, should we require. I really like this. I really, really like this. Reducing the throttles. Obviously, this, this engine, we realised in the last episode, does take a while for it to sort of reduce. I cannot see... Again, I do not know where this runway is. I think I see it. I think I do see it. If I can get get myself lined up and landed on this, then we can grab the science, go back, and then we'll see. Unfortunately, the missions are very, very far away for this, which is a problem. Okay, we seem to be managing okay at around 108 meters per second. Seems to be too much of an issue. We are coming down quite nicely. Oh, this is this is really really good. I like this mod. I I really really do like this mod. As long as I do not stall the aircraft, which I do not think I will. I'm descending quite nicely. lining myself up a little bit better with the runway here. No shadows to really guide me. Oh! Bounced it. That's good. 
On the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes. And there you have it. We're down. That was actually really, really quite easy. Uh, let's see. Let's see if at this point in time, uh, we leave that on. We've got plenty of fuel. Let's go ahead and... Saving Kerbals? Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some information from from this place. There we go. All the science is, is important. Take a photograph. Fantastic. Give it a start to scan if we wanted to. Right. That didn't knock anything over, which is great. Review. Let's go ahead and do that. That's good. Uh, we have a mystery goo down here to observe. There you go. And log the temperature there. Now, can we transmit any of this? We cannot because, of course, we do not have the ability to transmit things, I think, at this point. However, what we can do is... I'm hoping the steering angle on this is really really rubbish why is the steering angle on this nose this poor can I no there it goes it's because it the steering angle it's it's doing your isn't it this isn't doing the actual steering Right, you have to use the controllers for the... St okay, that's fine. Perfect. So, I cannot use the... I do not have the controller set up to do steering. I could, I could swap it to an axis, I guess. Let me try that. Let me try that. So, if I go ahead and press Shift and L, go to Presets, and you can see how I'm going to do this. So, I will pick... Uh, is there steering on this? Wheel steer, there it is. There we go. I now have an axis on it. So, there we go. I now have wheel steering. Perfect. Okay. This is brilliant. This is really, really good. I'm very, very happy with this. Shall we take off again and see, see if we can fly perhaps to the grasslands or something? Let's go for a slightly higher power takeoff. Straight over the grass, why not? So easy to do that. So easy. Let's see how fast we can go. Let's actually see how fast this this engine allows us to go. Just keeping an eye on our fuel though, because obviously we do not want to be running out of fuel. Okay, probably do not want to be going too quickly either, or accelerating too quickly. You can see some of the aerodynamic forces, some of that friction being pushed on us. You can actually f see some of the g-force being pushed upon us. Getting buffeted around a little bit, but you know what? 243 meters per second, that is really quite fast. For a first aircraft, that is that is incredibly fast. It really, really is. Not RCS, SAS. Uh, apparently SAS does not quite like that. We're already up at 2,500 meters, which is what, um, well, we're coming up almost 9,000 feet. That was really, really quick. We, we really went up in, in height quickly. And we are bar barely using any throttle. We are, of course, losing some speed. But to be honest, bringing ourselves down to 200 meters per second is probably going to be better. It gives us more maneuverability. This aircraft 
does not look like it's happy with the higher speeds which I can understand There's, that makes sense let's see where else we can fly though just to just to give ourselves an idea as to what we can do with this particular aircraft and then we might try and find a mission that we can we can take I think I saw an engine mission where it says I have to haul an engine up somewhere let's see if I can just stick the engine on here and, and take it up it will make the aircraft heavier that's for sure but that's how they do engine tests right okay we're now flying over some grasslands could we potentially take a photograph here uh, no you take a picture of whatever the camera is pointing at pretty no apparently not what's about here no apparently not what does a Geiger counter tell us ah there we go flying over Kevin's grasslands 5.6 so are you going to now you just do not like any of that uh, can I perform a scan here try again on the ground okay so that's a ground only thing can I log the pressure data here? No. What's about temperature? There we go. Flying over Kerbin's grasslands, we have some temperature. And we'll do the mystery goo. We're losing... Okay, nothing there. We should probably do a crew, crew report as well. I can see my house from here, I think. Right, uh, and I think we should probably turn back at this point because we do not have that much in the way of fuel but this does tell me that we can add a lot more or we can put a lot more fuel here and we can easily reach the mountain range so let's go ahead and turn back let's actually do a more suitable bank there we go it's a bit uh, that bank was a bit much Easy, easy. Okay, apparently this aircraft just does not. Actually, I think at the speed that would that would make a lot of sense. The aircraft does not really like to turn. Let's slow it down, down to 204 meters per second. We are climbing, though we do need to start looking at descending. There's the Kerbal Space Center. bring ourselves back. We should look for uh, perhaps a, a picture opportunity or something. That's not bad. Ooh, ooh. Come on. There we go. That's not too bad a picture opportunity. Right there. It's uh, right, it's 171 meters per second. We are climbing, but we really should be now descending. So let's get ourselves into a descent, drop the throttles, and we'll see if we can just go into an idle descent all the way down. We are still going pretty fast. We need to really shed off the speed. But that's fine. We know how to shed off speed. We'll just do exactly what the Space Shuttle does with S-turns. That's how they shed off speed. So you do, you, you just turn turn like this and pull back and you can see the speed sheds off really quickly when you do that because of the drag but also I think given how we are descending we should be pretty good to just land the aircraft uh, just like that no I said descending there we go so that is really successful. This this joystick control thing is is brilliant, I think. It's really easy to use as well. I think we're good for speed. We are actually really good for speed here. Let's bring some throttle back in just a little bit. And we'll certainly see if we can uh, stick another engine on this, perhaps one without any fuel. Take it up and see 
if we can do some experiments with it, make some money. Especially if this landing is successful. If this landing is successful, then we are we're in a really good good position. Unfortunately, we are we actually we are still quite fast. I'd rather we were shedding a lot more speed off here. There we go. 142, 140, 130, 137. Come on. Just gliding in, 130. Oh, this is going to be a fast landing. That's okay, though. I think we can manage this. One twenty. Actually, it's not too bad. There we go. And on the brakes. Watch it. Watch that pull. For some reason, it does have a tendency to pull. It's done it again. It's fine. We should be okay. We're going to damage part of our wing, perhaps, but. We should ooh. we should be okay with the steering. There we go, with the steering. And there we have it. We managed to bring our, bring the aircraft back down. Now I have realised that the steering is inverted, which is why I went flying off the. Uh, um, this one needs to be inverted like that. There we go. So that is now correct steering, but we managed to make it. Let's recover the vessel and let's see if we can pick up a mission. Okay, we managed to earn another 30 ish science, which is pretty good, and recovered 26,000 uh, on the pot. So, how much does this cost? Oh, we have some new uh, 100 more research points, G Force ribbon, speed record, and landing on Kerbin. Well done to Bill. How much does each one of these cost? 26,000. We managed to make everything back. That's pretty good. Right. Let's go to R&D and see if there's anything else we can unlock. There is, There are some things we can unlock right here. Enhanced survivability, we, we did say that would be quite important. Advanced rocketry, we also said would be quite important. And also subsonic flights, but these ones kind of look dull. Landing, that is one we did say because we need some landing gears and stuff. Um... That costs 90. I think perhaps we should go for flight control uh, because we'll have a little bit more in the way of winglets. And look, we've got an air brake. An air brake might actually be useful for us. Um, so how do I... The question is, how would I get the air brake deployed? That is my question. Maybe if I just hit the brakes, it deploys the air brakes. I'm not too sure. I am not too sure, but I think I'm going to go for for this one. I think I'm going to go for this one, so let's grab that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope, yep, this is the one. Enhanced survivability, go for it. That also gives us advanced flight control. Sorry, flight control, not enhanced survivability. As well as landing, of course, we do not have this bit yet. Oh, there's some, there was something down here. Basic science, that was the one I was after. That would have been perfect. Look, there's some extra things that we can have a look at. Capacitors and batteries and Science Junior and... Oh, we, we should have done that because we also had the old... Right, well, that is what we're going to head for pretty soon. So let's have a look at the missions and see what we have. Now these ones, that's a pretty easy one, but I'll do that off camera. 30,000. I can definitely do that off camera. It's one of those that I've already done before. Uh, the photographed one. Now this we require, we need to be landed to do this. And we need to be deserts, trunda, tundra, trunda, tundra, and the grasslands. Now the grasslands, I know where those are. I have no idea where the tundra and deserts are. Tundra, I'm assuming north or south. Deserts, probably opposite side of the world. Um, we'll have to have a look. Hall J85G4 turbojet into... That's the one. 
That is the one right there. It's only 8,000. Oh, no, wait. We get 21,000 plus some prestige. Have G85 turbojet, right? Flying. 1,000 to 3,000 meters. We can do that. 100 to 160 meters per second. We can do that. Let's go for it. Right, I'm going to accept that. And let's go and see... What's this? Haul that? Oh no, wait, that's a bit too high. I cannot go that high with an aircraft. Okay, let's see what... What is this one? We need to be landed on a number of places. Wait, we could be flying high, but we can do that with something else. There is a lot that uh, we've got available for us. There is a lot that we have available. Okay, let's go ahead and exit that. Let's go back to the space plane hangar. And let's see if we can update our, our Explorer, our Leo Explorer, and uh, stick another engine on it to test, and only to test, so it is, it is going to be empty. Space plane hangar's a lot bigger now. Hey look, and the stupid logo without the white is up the top. I keep forgetting to change that. Okay, so what is it that we wanted? Um, first of all, what did we unlock? Did we unlock anything that would be useful, the air brake. Where's the air brake? What's this? What was that? Uh, air... Air... Brake. There we go. Surface mounted air brake. On the wings? Sure, let's do that. Okay. Uh, your pitch inactive. Deploy and extended. Oh, oh, very nice. Deploy angle. They just deploy all the way. I'm, I'm not sure. There you go. Got it. So there you go, that is going to be... I mean, th th are they going to slow the aircraft down massively? Actually, they potentially could. They actually potentially could. So we're going to save... Let's uh, retract those. I'm going to have to look at what the controls are for that. And we need a... What was the engine? Engines. GE. It was a GE engine, wasn't it? GE... Hold on, the mission's down here. Active. J20... J85. 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 I mean, that engine doesn't seem to exist. Wait, what? Do I not have this particular... Have objectives, have that engine. Okay, let's figure out where on earth that engine is. J85 GE-4. We need to f figure out where it is. Because what's the point otherwise? I'm sure we I'm sure we have this engine somewhere. J85. Oh dear. R&D. Is it in any of this? I thought it might be... Right, J85. No. None of those. None of those. No, all of these do not seem to be it. What's that? No. Nope. No space crane. Hello. Uh... No, so it's not in there. Subsonic flight. It is not in there. General construction. 45 science required. None of these seem to be it. Redstone launch clamp. None of those look like engines either. No. Enhanced survivability. Nope. 
advanced rocketry. Have we not been here? I think we've been there. Where is this particular engine? Is it down further down here? I doubt it. I doubt it that it's going to be in here. No, it certainly does not look like it's in here. Okay, so apparently I have lost an engine. Somehow I've lost an engine. Um, I do not know. Could it be in any of these? No, no, no. These are all launch platforms for various shuttles. Uh, great. Let me have a look in this. Liquid engine. Unless I'm just not looking in the right place. Let's go, let's go back. Let's go back to the... Oh. Could it be in the vehicle assembly building? Do we have... No, it's a, it's a jet engine. It's a turbine. So it should be in the space plane hangar. If not, we might have to potter around again doing some science on Earth. On Earth? Yeah, on Earth. And uh, work from there, annoyingly. But at least we have the various things that give us the science required. Okay, fuel tanks. This is not a fuel tank, it is an engine. Somebody stop me if they see it. Well, it's not going to help because, of course, I am not going to see your response until way after. That's the Rattler. So that's the J10, so the J85 should be... Maybe it's J-85. Probably is. Wait, these are in, uh... These are in order. These are in order. There's a J-8. Five. No, that's four. Five. Doesn't exist. What? Does this engine not exist? Turbojet. We want you to haul... I'll tell you what I could do. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's see. Alter active contracts. Contract duration can only be adjusted for newly offered contracts. I'll leave that for now, but if that does not exist, then I'm not going to... It, it isn't fair for me to get penalised for that. What I will do just because we probably need to anyway and it will give us quite a fair amount of money let's go to the crawl away and the launch pad and let's grab some some stuff and then we'll go over to mission control and grab some some more stuff let's uh yeah let's go ahead and do that let's also open up the kerbal rover and see if there's anything we can do to adjust it oh look at this little rover isn't it adorable? Um, dearie me. Is there anything else we can add in here? No, I think we have everything that is required on this particular rover. Okay, well, our crew today is going to be Bob and Bill. And we will save and exit that. Kerbal Rover 01 is going to be a go in a moment or so. That way, at least, uh, at least I'm making progress. Right. Let's grab. Available all. Let's go to all. Ooh, that's lagging. 
There we go. Part testing. I do not have that. This one I cannot do. That's this I could probably do some point, but that turbo jet I just do not seem to have. Right. Field research, that is the one. And hey look. Perform another guy counter while flying over Kirby's grasslands. Should have done that whilst flying. Really should have done that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, ag he's agreeing with me. Gives me 13k. Now let's go. Let's just grab as much as we can right now. Let's grab this one and just get it. Get it done. Yes, I've taken that. Unfortunately, maximum of two only. Runway Kerbal Rover one. Jeb, you do not need to be there. We'll have Bob and Bill. I'm sure these two can drive a vehicle. Uh, if they cannot, we're in trouble. You genuinely cannot make this up, can you? Um, the game's crashed. I guess Bill and Bob cannot drive a rover. Well, thank you very much for watching. I, I will have to try and fix this for the next episode. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Support me on Patreon if you can, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at ECGadgetLP for social media. I'll see you guys next time. I... It just had to happen.